Hello, hello, and welcome to the Good Night Show with Daya and TV. No, um, okay. What we're going to talk about today or this week, the last day of the week, I think I'm pre-recording this thing, is um, about looping setups. Plural, yes, plural. That's amazing. I know. Uh, but uh, amongst the many, many looping setup there is out there, I'm just going to cover three because, you know, they are the only ones that I have. Um, uh, that, this setup, and uh, that one thing, and um, Ableton. And uh, Ableton's in there. That's not Ableton, but, you know, you'll, you'll see it later. So uh, the first setup is that I'm going to talk about today is um, this one, the Zoom and iPod. Well, not really iPod, the app Loopy. It's called Loopy. It's an interesting app. It costed about 300 yen or 100 yen, I cannot remember. I bought it with yen because my iTunes account was in. It's Japan, Japanese. Japanese. So, yeah, I bought it in yen. So, it's probably like three, three uh, American dollars good. I think, yeah, but never mind. And uh, the fun thing about this app is you can... You can, you know, record layers of whatever idea you have, whatever ideas you have on the fly. And, you know, you can you can download this on the phone, on your iPad. Uh, iPad version would be different. You know, you have to pay a little more to get both iPod and iPad version. This is the only, the, the, other, the version with only for iPods. So, yes, uh, this was um, suggested to me by a friend of mine, uh, Andy Iskandar of Space Gambus Experiment. I don't know if it's still in there, but whatever. Um, okay, the fun thing about this app is, um, but they are like, you can have nine. Okay, stop, 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 stop! You can just shake this thing, and you can reset the session, which is interesting. And also, you can save sessions in. Um, Antonia, me again. Antonia. This is session, yeah, a few sessions that I've saved. So you can definitely, you know, just record ideas on the fly. If you don't mind, you know, being embarrassing in public and just like record shit to your phone. But hey, that's the life of musicians. You can record sessions and you have recordings like, um, you know, if um, the sessions only save like um, layers of them on the app. But you, you know, you need to know how the layers are arranged. So you have the recording button here, uh, or no, here, and this is, you know, shows what kind of recording you've done previously. And you can send uh, these recordings through uh, SoundCloud or email. I think SoundCloud SoundCloud's the best way. Come on, come on, come on. Am I even pressing? Oh no, it's dying. Damn it. That was, pardon the, yeah, that's the, that's the f inter, f that's the, yeah, the starting app thing, okay. Um, yeah, you can send your recordings through, um, yeah, there's a recording and there's a copy button, email, send, transfer, SoundCloud and all the stuff. Um, okay, let's start, I uh, just start with a simple loop. And I have, I have a zoom right here because it's, although it's for guitars, you know, as long as sound enters this thing, it, it makes sense, right, you know? Just don't be fooled, but it has because it has zoom for bass and zoom for guitar. So if you want to like be specific, you can buy you know for guitars or for bass line. But I end up using this for ukuleles and my you know voice because it just makes sense. It's like three hundred and eighty ringgit and it's cheap. You know it has like fifty five effects if I'm not mistaken. Fifty five effects and you can preset a uh, fifty. And you, yeah, you can have like a combination of like like this thing, whatever. Wait, zoom in. You can have um, a combination of a few effects here. There's like okay, so delays, a uh, few delays, and then you have um, you can delete the effect you need. Blah blah blah. Effect change. Probably you're not listening to me right now because yes, I need to bring up the speaker volume a bit for me to talk easy okay i can i guess that's that's better um is it is it so the bomber here's another mic just for this yes you hear that upon turning it on just also the boom sound 
I got like more. It's very fun. This is very fun. You can just play around with it, and you can combine like uh, six pedals. Like contohnya, let's just go to the presets. Um, mana ni? Blue ocean spaceship. I guess spaceship is fancy. Okay, this is um thing that has like just a few e effects, but like delete. Oh, you can see that two, three, four, five, six. So it has like six effects, and the sound is something like this. Ooh. Ooh. So it's a, it's a very fun you know thing to play around with, and you can you like can like pick pick this one. Contohnya, you can change the the arrangements of the effect chains, like pick this one up and bring it around, something like that. Just you know, it's 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 very fun. This zoom thing, and um, it helps because it's um, I don't want to pick it up because I have to you know rearrange everything again, and it's just taking banyak masa. Uh, it's currently connected to uh, an adapter, but it has, you know, two. It's powered by. It can be powered by double A batteries as well, like just two double A batteries, and it can last about seven hours. Mm, so far, I've tested about seven hours ish. So yeah, just use this, this, and this. This three setup is actually very portable. You can bring it anywhere, but uh, for for you to be using, you know, the effects with. The Loopy app you have you will you will need this i rig I think it costed about how much did it cost about hundred less than two hundred i think um wait was it I forgot I bought it a long time ago, but uh, basically this would be um the mic enters here, and this is the output you can have like two outputs, but I'm just gonna use mono for now and um it the output here will enter this thing. Here, that that hole right there, and then this will go to the headphones. This this other plug is for whoops, it's for the iPod. So just put that in, so that it won't be as noisy. And that's the setup. I think this setup, this one is fifty ringgit, three hundred four hundred ish, three ringgit, and wait, okay, not three ringgit, ten lah, ten, four hundred. This this like four hundred. 450 and 600-ish. Well, I guess it's it's a bit expensive, but it's I think it's cheaper than the other two setups that I have. And the mic, it can be anything. You can you can just like use a any kind of mic really, but certain mics it might not power up. Like the mics that need phantom power, it might not work lah. I think. I'm just, I'm just really, I don't know about this phantom power shit. So I'm just gonna move on to the, how to use the Loopy app. Okay, in order to um, properly use it, I need to compose myself a bit because. Mm. <laughs> okay, that that doesn't work. Need to just like shut up, shut up, shut up. We're gonna use some some empty empty slots. Hey, at least I have something. Okay, um, uh, you you can edit the um, there's a pause and play button. You can edit the you can edit the volume of each loop, and you can edit uh, the panning of each loop as well. Like contohnya, uh, okay, there's the I don't know if you can see that, but there's a share import volume and pan button. So this is the volume button. You can just adjust the volume of 
this particular loop and you can just adjust the panning to you know center left right depending on how you it's kind of hard to use you know your fingers for this because it's small i mean compared to an ipad or you know just an ipad generally it would be easier for you to maneuver it on the fly i guess because this is it's, it's quite hard because my thumb is huge and this thing is small um but basically um you can yeah you can do that you can uh, manage each loop and you can clear them as well wait i can't remember how to do that i think i have to play this thing first oh yeah you have to like you can record each loop as well you have to swipe it like round like that and it will turn there's a the clear button re-record and cancel so it's going to cancel that and you can uh, on the next loop you can you can even record a few i don't want to just Stop, 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 stop. Ah, stop. Just gonna clear everything up. Okay. Before I confuse myself. Stop. Okay, just stop. Stop. You can also, um, with this thing, um, you can you can put the tempo as well. You can change, okay, like ah sorry. Like the for this one, it's um I don't know, times four. As in four bars, sorry, this is four bars and you can just like, for the next loop that you're going to record, you're going to press and you want to extend the loop, you can just press this and it's going to double to eight. So it's going to be longer, twice longer than the previous two or the previous one. Lah. And you can reduce it to, you know, you can add to 32, 16, you can, you know, multiply the length of the loops and you can even reduce it to you know, two or one to make it shorter and shorter. You can also make it, you know, if you want to be adventurous, wait, you can also just like from two, just add one to three. So it's going to be like three bars instead of, you know, the double, the doubles of twos and stuff. You can, I guess from three, you can also double to six. Yes, stuff like that. I should have just zoomed in, sorry, because it's confusing. And um, aside from that, it also has um, neat functions like a metronome. Like you can have a sound metronome that would sound like this. I guess it's just four four. Oh, we can actually change the metronome. That's a there's a four four and a five five four. Again, my my thumb is huge, so it's really hard to just change this thing. I can't even note. Yeah, yeah, six eight. Just like you know, the basic one, seven. And I think it goes up to only 80. That's the maximum. And the minimum would be... Ah! My thumb! It's... Never mind. It also has, a, you know, tempo adjustments. If you want to, you know, equal tempo. If you want to equal tempo, you can just, like, tap it from the start without, you know, um, changing the tempo in the first place. You can also tap. Yeah. Ch just change the tempo. And... If you don't want, you know, the sound to disrupt your, you know, uh, your output, if you, you know, playing it live or whatever, you can just use the light. So that's the light function. You can do it both. So that's a neat function. You can use light. This blinks. And that is loopy in general. You can also have uh, the maximum of... Um, loops you can have in one session let me find a setting setting i think wait oh how do i get back see my thumb it's just it's very not it's not helping stop at thumb okay setting i think it's general so there's the track layout just now it only has like six nine and twelve i think i don't know about the uh, ipad version i think they have up to 16 god knows because the screen is huge the screen, the screen, the screen is huge, so you can have like 12 tracks and 9 tracks or 6 tracks. I just put a 9 because, you know, my thumbs are big, it's huge, it doesn't really help. But, you know, if you just want to layer um, a few tracks, you can do it. And let's just play this, these things. Okay. I think I put the volume down a little bit. Volume, volume. Oh, okay, but really loud. Okay. Another need. 
a neat um, function of this app, this particular app, is you can just bring this. Yes. You see that? I cannot undo it though, but <laughs> you, you can merge two two uh, layers so that you know you want to you know add more layers without having you know if you don't if you're lacking space and just want to add layers and just like you know easier for you to stop them yeah and you can time the the stopping it has a count out kind of thing so um like contohnya like if i were to tap right now before it reaches the top then it's going to start on the next count like that and if you just tap twice it's going to stop on the spot and you just tap twice you're going to start you know on the spot as well instead of just waiting for the next for the you know for it to reach the top and enters the next bar i'm speaking as if i know all this shit i don't honestly i just yeah i just do them so yeah that was you can you can also move move the uh, tracks from one to another you know just for funsies i guess like that la 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 so that is um loopy oh stop 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 no don't i'm uh i'm confusing myself just pause before i forget another things so yes these are the this this or these this is a setup a, a very portable setup it's it's very neat especially this is zoom thing because you know instead of buying just one pedal that costs like 200 ringgit or 100 ringgit you can just like buy this one thing cost it about 380 you can, can probably get it cheaper somewhere else but i bought it from music bliss uh so i got it for 380 it got cheaper because you know sale year end sale i can't remember what's the price the time i bought that thing yes i just don't read receipts so this has 55 effects and you know you can use it for guitars or if you want to you know if you don't want to be particular lah you can use it for bass guitar ukulele or you know your voice this is the the cheap setup this yes right there and it's portable too you can just like put it in your handbag if you have a handbag if you don't then put it in your pocket you have giant cargo pants i have giant cargo pants so that's that. Let's now move on to the next setup. Okay. I need to pause or something. 